Ha! I knew there was one here! Welcome back to X3 Terran Conflict. I think I've put off this mission a little too... Not for long enough, four episodes. But I just wanted to point out real quick that uh, our system trader is still in Jupiter 3 and he's actually working now. In fact, he's already up to level 3. At level 4 or 6, I, I can't remember which one, we can actually move him up to trading in two, one neighboring sector as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on his level, but he's been uh, doing some missions. Uh, and I, every time he levels up, he take he pauses to take a tr another training class. Now to proceed in the mission, we got to go talk to this ship over here. Terran tire. This is a carrier. No, this is a this is a destroyer. Carriers have one solid uh, dot underneath them. Destroyers have two, or a broken dot. But, regardless, this is a big ship. Now, as I entered the sector, it did a zoom in on it, but you weren't around to see it, so I'm going to do my own flyby. And just so you know, that sector trader gained those levels. It really gained those qu levels quickly. All I did was fly out to pick up my ship and fly back. That's all I really did. Here's the underside of the tire. And then we're going to fly over the top. which is now, looks like the underside. There's the command deck. That is a nice ship. Well, we put it off for long enough. The automated interaction system. Me. How can I be of assistance? Good to see you again, pilot. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Once on the other side, we will form a defensive perimeter and assess the situation. If Winters is there, we can expect Xenon and Terraformer resistance. The priority is to track him down and capture him before he can escape. Wave one, engage jump drives on my mark, now! Okay, we gotta wait for the signal. Wave two, now. But, please note, make sure to bring enough energy cells, or you might wave find yourself three. stuck for some time. Now. Now, we jump to Aldrin. Where is it? It's down here. You notice it takes 120 energy cells. It's also going to cost you 120 to go back. If you don't bring the energy cells, you might find yourself stuck there until you get it. Until you can order a ship to bring you energy. Trust me, I've had to do that. So make sure you at least have 240 energy cells before you enter any of these sectors here. Jump device charging. Now, what you're going to see here is simply the largest sector in the game. It actually has a giant asteroid in the middle of it. And this asteroid's even smaller than the planets, but still, it takes up so much space. Entering system, Aldrin. It's also got the lowest frame rate in the game. And no one loves to be in this sector. It's ridiculous. Look how big that is. 2,200 kilometers wide. Okay, we're supposed to wait for the signal. Investigate possible stations. Okay, there are a number of stations around here. In fact, some of them are built into the asteroids. They almost look like asteroids. And please note, you can actually run into the big asteroid in the middle. So try not to. You cannot actually mine it, though. That is one ugly rock. They they should have done something to make that thing look prettier. As it is just ridiculously ugly. Why does it have to be so far away? Oh, 
Oh, well, they got energy cells here, actually. That's good to know. Sometimes these are not here. Sometimes it's another base, and, uh, yeah. You might be SOL. Over, if you look in the n top left portion of the screen against the asteroid, is another station. But I won't be, uh, exploring all these stations right away. I might bring, I might come back here with a carrier and explore it in my faster Jaguar. Because this is ridiculous. I hate this sector. I remember this on my laptop, it often make it overheat. Now, as you approach this... It looks kind of funny. This is the Spring Blossom. A lot of people love this ship, and it can actually be bought from the shipyard here if you get a high enough faction with them. You don't have to actually move anywhere, but this is the reason why people love it. It's a ship the size of mine, and look at that max speed, upgradable to 360 meters per second. That is a fast Corvette. With, uh, laser, with eight laser bays, one right turret, one left turret, and a back turret, four back turrets, which can use any of the experimental stuff, which is slight, slightly less powerful than the stuff that this ship can use. But it can use any of them, including the starburst shockwave cannon, which is even more powerful than anything this one has. And it can have, but it only has 400 megajoules of shields, that's the downside. It's great for a player ship, but that's about it. It's not something you want to go into a fight with a larger ship with. But you have to admit that thing is pretty sweet otherwise. It's like a big fighter. And that thing you saw in the back was the engine. Kind of looks like a bird setup, with those being the tail feathers. Pretty soon, this thing should initiate communications. Unfortunately, because of the size of the sectors, this part that just takes forever. Because everything's always just spread far apart. And unfortunately, later on, when we start the Aldrin missions, yes, we will have to come back here. The craft has stopped. Incoming communication on a wide spectrum. Go. Go and shoot You're human. This is Commander Jackson of the AGI Task Force Earth. Who are you? Earth. My name is Takio Makoto Takio. I'm a commander of the Aldrin Defense Force. How did you get there? Did you come for Winters? Is Winters here? No, no. I do not know where he is. He came and told us on Earth that the level of gates leading to the heavenly worlds. He said he came with his but he had important work to do here regarding the terraformers. He boarded the CPU ship, took control over the terraformers, and flew out of orbit. A CPU ship? Yes. It has modified itself over the centuries, adapting to its situation. It is no longer just for terraforming planets. It defends us, collects resources, and builds up. Your terraformers? Yes, these terraformers are not like the others. They are still under our control. That is, they were, until Winters came. We attempted to go after him, but terraformers blocked our path. Shots were fired, and we lost people. Terraformers retreated, but we understood the situation and accepted it. We are not used to losing people, especially not in combat. We can help. Give us his last known position. We need to capture him. Time is of the essence. You should talk with my superiors and explain the situation. Very well, but you're right. We do not have much time. 
Okay. At this point, it's still telling us to go here, but we're waiting on a timer. Pilot, take wave three and establish a perimeter around the stations. Keep a lookout for terraformer activity. I will make contact with these people and attempt to find some common ground and the information we need. Lucky for us, we do not have to cover all the stations. That would be ridiculous. There's so many. You see this map here? This is all on one side of the asteroid. The asteroid actually goes all the way up to the le upper left-hand corner. Now we're just waiting for enemy contact. The enemy should uh, gate in at some point. But uh, what they were saying there before... Oh, here we go. Okay, they're coming from this direction. If you notice, they got some of the weird Dika ones as well. That's actually part of the this plot here. What are these Dika ones? Okay, Mr. Fade, can you please come here? Someone's firing missiles. I would have liked to have captured the Keppa. Thank you for your help in eliminating this threat. And yes, this does actually help with your Terran rep. Poltergeist missile. Yeah, I don't care about the Poltergeist missiles. Those were fired by allies. Xenon. M. Actually, no, I don't want the Poltergeist missile. missiles. Decker death. Feels like you're not going anywhere. Missile. There's more detail with the planet. Oh my! Look at those missiles. That's a missile barrage. Shadow missile. Yeah, let's not get anywhere close to these things when they go off. Target left firing range. Someone remembered to bring their missiles. Okay. Pilot, I'm giving you control of one of the boarding craft. Try your best to capture but not destroy the CPU ship. We have a deal with the Aldrin colonists to preserve it. Yeah. They also have other boarding craft that will uh, take it over too. The and transport is mainly used if you look, in the all these guys are at most one star. The they don't really have a chance of helping either. They'd all die in the attempt. So let's just take their. No, I'm commanding that thing to dock there. Take it and dock it safely here during the mission. And then let's go watch the fi fireworks. Ah, oh, that's where it is. That there, my friends, is a mothership. The last surviving uh, terraformer mothership. It is one of two motherships in this game, actually. And that's a M0 class, for those that uh, understand the cl classifications. 
Why am I moving so slow? Now, this thing will not be able to die. And if I had fully trained marines, I could engage in a glitch that would let me capture it immediately after the Terrans capture it, without uh, angering anyone. But, you know what? I don't like dealing with the boarding mechanics, so I'm not even going to bother. We just gotta bring down the shields and keep the shields down for it. While their board while their boarding craft move in and uh, take out the thing. It will not fire back, and this is actually pretty boring. I may end up uh, seeing if I can fast forward through this section. Because. Oh yeah, the ship's called the Decca. Just so you know. But uh, this just is ridiculous in the length of time it takes. You gotta keep the shields down long enough for the boarding craft to unload the marines and uh, get the marines in there. And yeah, yeah, it's fun. This appears to be one of the It's twelve thousand megajoules. I mean, twelve gigajoules. It's got four turrets, but it's not actually equipped with any weapons in those turrets. And do you see those shadow missiles? Yes, they are firing them. Keep your distance, folks. The red blips you see on my Gravidar are actually uh, just missiles incoming. And at this point, I'm just going to continue firing because it cannot take any more damage. It's a uh, scripted battle, so the, it's, it's invincible and stays at 95% health forever. Whoa, that was a big one. Enough with the missiles, guys. Just get the marines in here. You know what? Where are the marines? The one Terran scabbard is still five kilometers from here. I don't know why it launched a fighter drone there, but whatever. If it helps keep the shields down while this works, all the better. In fact, they're still firing at it, so I'm just gonna let them keep the shields down while the boarding craft gets over here. If it ever gets over here. See, this is one of the problems with the um, the boarding mechanics fact that uh, boarding crafts sometimes get stuck in a loop where they will not approach to to release their marines. Boarding was something that was added with this version of the game and they, ju I, they just couldn't get it working right. But now we're just waiting for that boarding crap to get over here. As you can see, it's sitting quite a ways away. When it gets close, it'll eject all of its marines who will immediately begin moving towards the ship. But we got some, uh, shields left. Winters. 
Okay. Obviously, they scripted that to happen. Now we gotta defend the DECA from these uh, fighters before we do that. Shouldn't be too terribly hard. For all, we got all this help around. And there are shipyards in this area too, so if I do capture something, I can sell it locally. Oh, he ejected too. Well, let's uh, collect uh, the missiles that were dropped. Unknown cargo bay now contains cargo bay, cargo bay, cargo bay now, cargo bay now, cargo bay now, cargo bay now, cargo bay now contains. Oh yeah, if you notice the weird cargo collection methods that they got here, what is that? Unknown Aldrin base. No information is available from the Aldrin colony installations. Weird. But if you notice the unusual, uh... Aldrin docking granted. Auto cargo collection methods that I've, uh, had here, it's mostly because of the Mars module I found out they've recently had a change. If you got dr goblin drones, it automatically assumes they're... It acts like they're being sent out and retrieved as you approach the stuff. Oh, wow. It hasn't docked yet because of the fact that it's running collision avoidance. So I'm going to have to fly manually close and use my docking computer to dock with this thing. Collision avoidance with a giant asteroid. Who would have guessed? Oh, there we go. Docking computer. Works like a charm. So long as there's docking clamps. And you're not too large. We bid you a heartfelt welcome to this Terran station. And you see that, right? Earth Taurus. So now, I'm gonna jump out of here, but I'm gonna off-screen the trip to the moon. So that you don't have to sit here and watch it again. I apologize, he just started talking. Hopefully, these transits accelerators will help us cut travel time for all of our ships. He just started talking about how Aldrin was just one of their outposts, that they have many of them so far apart takes um, days to travel between them. And how he'd really like to have these accelerators. I forgot he talks as you travel through Earth, Terran space. So I guess I will not be cutting out the complete trip. Luckily, we're starting at Mars. Yeah, but uh, later on, I'll have the option to start the Aldrin missions. And hopefully by then, I'll have a big enough ship that can move more quickly than this to do it in. Because I do not look forward to flying around that giant hunk of rock looking for a gate in this thing. And that one up there is a carrier. Notice the lights are heading out. My drive is slowing down waiting for the ships to finish coming through. Or is it? 
Okay, the autopilot is dumb. Entering system. At least it's following the right. Okay. At least it's following the proper ring protocol on the ga on the gates, so I don't end up flying directly into one of the giant battleships or something. Basically, the ring protocol is uh, the smaller the ship, the farther to the edge it flies to the gate. Meanwhile, let's check up on my trader after all that. He's still in the same place, but he's already level 5. Let's see if I can uh, start a sector trader in multiple sectors. No, I can't. Oh well. I guess it's level 6, but you see how quickly he already leveled up. But uh, that's going to help me gain uh, reputation quickly with the Terrans. And once I've got one going, and um, four more sectors covering most of Terran space, I'll start another one in the same pattern. And eventually just have a number of sector traders. This will also benefit me when it comes time to actually buying the equipment, because there'll be equipment available to buy. That's always a good thing. Something there for you to buy when you need it. But the Terran economy is severely borked because of the simple. F that is quite a sight. I'm, I'm fighting back the tears. Yeah, but uh, the Terran economy is quite borked in the fact that uh, most traders avoid it like the plague, and when they do come here, they can only jump as far as the initial initial entryway. It makes it easy to get out of er, the Terran space, but really hard to get back in takes forever and therefore resources rarely ever make it in here and that's why the Terran economy is more or less self-serving self when possible. They have the orbital supply bases which for the most part fill in all the weak points in their economy as best as they can and that's that's not saying a lot. So it's better to have your own ships out here doing the job restricted to this area whenever possible. If That is if you want the, the Earth stuff. Wait a minute, I don't need to actually dock here. I haven't finished exploring this sector yet. Uh, magic trick. Well, there we go. Now it's fully explored. Nice trick, huh? And I even found a PSV factory here, out here. Yes, point singularity projectors are very nice, but they only go on capital ships. Well, time to go to Earth. And unfortunately, due to the um, size of the Taurus, it is unwise to do any sort of autopilot on Earth. With the exception of jumping out of there. Mostly because... The autopilot will go into auto avoidance mode, exiting the um, free flight area, and the Taurus will then shoot you down. Yeah, and it's not pretty. This also means manual docking with the Taurus. So yay, if you're not good at manual docking, I wish you luck. Save before you go here. Or get yourself a docking computer. Either or. So yeah, Earth is not a sector which most people travel to very often. Just because of that, all that's here is the Taurus. You can't even g land on the planet. Entering 
entering system, Earth. And this is the Taurus. Those lights there are little satellites which, which will shoot at you if you uh, exit the staging area. Oh, welcome to Earth, pilot. Please dock at the Taurus. I will debrief you. Congratulations, you finished the Terran campaign. <laughs> Earth, Taurus. But it looks like it's so close, right? It's 55 kilometers from here. This thing's huge. And you gotta be within 25 kilometers to request docking clearance. Come on. Let me dock with you. You are talking to positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. I wonder where the docking bay is. Oh wait, there's a sign. Okay, let's slow down a little. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this will dock any class of ship. And thus we have the end of the Terran campaign. Greetings, friend. We bid you a heartfelt welcome to this Terran station. Connection to local trading network established. Welcome aboard the Taurus. You have shown great zeal in preserving biological life forms such as ourselves here on Aldrin and also in the Commonwealth. Martin Winters, however, escaped and he is still at large. His true intentions are a mystery to us, but with your help, we will continue to protect our realm and that of our allies from the future AGI incursions. To aid you in your future efforts, we have opened up the solar system to you. Congratulations, Spider. And thus we no longer have a mission there. Starting next episode, we will be working on improving our um, relations with the Boron so that we can start the hub missions. Meanwhile, um, once our sector trader gets uh, skilled enough, we will then uh, add another sector trader as well. And then once we're in progress with the hub missions, we'll start the Final Fury missions as well. Because the hub missions just take... it takes forever. You're going to be doing them a long time. And if you want to get your own player at HQ, You've got to complete the hub missions, and then do a lot more missions would take even longer. So, anyway, good night, and good luck.